guys, it is another one of these. I've recorded three of them. I've decided when I record the listographies over summer, I'm going to do three at once and then schedule them for you so that you've got one video a week to watch at least before I'm back doing my usual. As I said before, I'm just busy over summer, spending time with the family, just want to chill out and relax and do fun things. Um, and as you all know from doing videos yourself, when you're trying to do videos, edit videos and watch other people's content, it takes up a lot of time. So um, I'm just stepping back a little bit for a couple of months just to do some family stuff. And I shall be back after the summer months doing my usual weekly watches. Although I might give you a couple of little updates through the summer as to, you know, if I've watched something I specifically really want to talk about. But today we are talking about movies I walked out on or... I needed to change this because I've only walked out of movies in the cinema three times in my life. Once was because my son was scared of a character. Um, so I changed it to list movies you walked out on or fell asleep during in the cinema and I only managed eight movies. No, seven movies because I had to scribble one out because I'd written it down twice. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is my seven movies that I walked out on or I fell asleep during, guys. So hopefully we'll have a nice little short one today. So at the bottom of the list at number seven is a film called Arthur 2 On the Rocks with Dudley Moore. This is a movie I went to see in the cinema when I was very, very young. Um, our cinema only had two screens back in the day and they used to have the same film shown week after week after week. I went to see See No Evil, Hear No Evil and Lethal Weapon 4 and Dirty Rotten Scoundrels multiple times because they didn't change the movie. This one was on, it was a new one, so you basically just went to see anything that came. I was maybe 12? I was really young. Um, also our cinema did show things well after the time. Now I've looked at this 1988, it wasn't in 1988, it was much later than that because I, I wouldn't have been old enough. So yeah, I don't know what year it was, but Arthur 2 on the rocks, so boring, so crap. Really didn't like it, haven't watched it since. A lot of people do rate these Arthur movies. Russell Brand did a remake of one, which was terrible. I did watch all of that because he's nice to look at, I'll admit it. But um, yeah, I don't know if it's worth watching as an adult. I was a really young teenager. I was maybe 13 when I saw that and I it was awful. Number six is one of the movies I walked out of the cinema during. I wasn't very happy to have to do it, but my son was frightened of one of the characters. He was quite young, it was 2016, so that's seven years ago. It would have been five, so understandable. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Out of the Shadows. Now, there's a pig in this. I'm really sorry, especially Jamie, if you're watching. I know you're a massive fan. I don't know character names apart from the turtles. There was a pig in this, it was almost like a, it wasn't a cartoon, it was like a live imagining of, and he was terrified of this pig when it came on the screen, so we had to leave, and I was quite disappointed because it was quite good fun. But yeah, so Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 in 2016, I walked out on. Number five, this is one I fell asleep on, and this is going to get hate, as is another I fell asleep on, Super Mario Brothers movie. Very recent one this year, my son loved it, he's a big fan of the games, I do appreciate the animation was fab. I do appreciate it had, you know, the crossover with the game was really good. It had a lot of the game in the movie. Little subtle things that they put in from the games were was really clever. I like the fact Princess Peach wasn't a damsel in distress, but it didn't grab me and I don't know why I fell asleep. Um, what can I say? Super Mario Brothers movie, I fell asleep. Number four, now I went to see this with quite a large group of friends. Um, I was sat between two quite big blogs. It was very warm. Was that the reason I fell asleep? Possibly. This is The Matrix Resurrections, the most recent one. Really like Matrix movies. I just, my brain just wouldn't engage. I just find it so dull and boring. Keanu Reeves even couldn't keep me interested and in that's saying something. Matrix Resurrections had a snooze, guys. What can I say? So this is number three, is the last movie I fell asleep in. It's the first movie I remember falling asleep on in the cinema. And um, this was on quite an early date with my now husband. I think it's the first time we ever went to the cinema together. Um, we'd maybe had two or three dates at this stage and he took me to see, or we went to see Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Bored to tears, fell asleep. 
It's not like me, I don't tend to sleep in the cinema, but I fell asleep for Lord of the Rings. I've since tried to watch Lord of the Rings. I've watched one, I can't get past it. I just, it bores me. I know it looks beautiful, I know it's so well done. I, I can't get engaged with the Lord of the Rings movies. I, I know, Sean, if you're watching this, you're not happy. But I just, I don't know what it is. I don't know what is holding me back. I just don't enjoy them. So that's my number three. Okay, my number one and two are villains I actually did consciously walk out of because I hated them so much. And one of them pains me. Pains me. But it... So my number two is a Of the Dead film, a Romero film. And it's Diary of the Dead. Now, I don't know exactly what year this came out on. My husband is a massive Romero fan. He has seen all of them. I've seen all of them myself, but he's, I've been more a Fulci fan, he's more a Romero fan. Um, I love Dawn of the Dead, uh, there's, there's, is it Land of the Dead? There's quite a few and they're all decent. This is shocking. It's like a found footage style of the Dead movie and I love found footage. So when I heard that, I'm like, yes, this is going to be fantastic. Even he hated it. This it like follows these people with like video cameras the whole way through and it is shockingly bad. I thought it was. I turned to him at one stage and he looked just bored. I'm sat there because it's a zombie movie and he loves zombie movies and I'm saying, are you enjoying this? And he says, no, it's shite. I says, do you want to go? And he said, yep, so we left. Diary of the Dead, shocking. Okay, guys, this may cause an unsubscribe to be clicked. <clears throat> My number one movie that I walked out on is much loved, it's much revered. And I have watched this movie multiple times to try to enjoy it because I know that I'm wrong. I will say I know I'm wrong before I say this, and anybody that knows me well will know what's coming. It's Pulp Fiction. I'm sorry. I love Quentin Tarantino. The list is as long as your arm of his movies that I like. I actually can't think of another Tarantino movie that I don't enjoy. But I cannot get into Pulp Fiction. I walked out of the cinema. I thought it was so bad. I've since tried to watch it multiple times. I own a copy. I've tried to watch it and every time I watch it, my mind drifts, I get bored. I've just got no interest. I can't get engaged with this film and I don't know. I love the overdose scene. I think that's fab. I love the dancing scene. There's one scene in a car where someone accidentally shits someone's head off. That's fun. I love it. But other than a few little scenes, I just cannot get engaged with this film. It doesn't do it for me. And I don't know why, guys. Um, so that's Lord of the Rings and Pulp Fiction that I, I don't get it. I don't get why my brain's not clicking in, but it just isn't. So I will leave it there today, guys. That is, I only managed seven on that list, which is quite paltry, but it's not like me to walk out or to fall asleep. Pulp Fiction, I think Diary of the Dead was the last movie I ever walked out of the cinema to, and that's a lot of years ago. The rest, I just had a, a bijou snoozette in the cinema. So... Thank you so much for watching guys. Next time, let me tell you what it'll be next time. I started doing the book from the beginning. So next time is your top foreign films. I've got 20 for you guys and I had to cut it down to 20 because I love foreign movies. Then we've got list unique art house films you've seen. Then your favorite comedies and their funniest moments. And then horror films. Oh, I've done horror films that freak you out. Then documentaries is after that. So that's a taster as to what's going to be coming up in the following weeks. I will try to put one up a week for you guys. Probably always, I would imagine, on a Friday. Um, hope you enjoy. Please feel free to follow along like Rustin Willpower has been doing on her channel. Feel free to put it in the comments if you can't be bothered to do a video yourself. But I love to watch just different lists, different people's opinions on things. Um, so thanks so much, guys, for watching. I shall catch up with you next time. Over and out from Lisa Buzz. Thank you.